yesterday I actually did a webinar on malaria. I don't know if you guys have looked into malaria, but malaria is considered one of the crowning achievements and most settled scientific, uh, it, you know, accomplishments of the of the last hundred years. Everybody knows it's this unicellular parasite called a plasmodium, and it's a transmitted by mosquitoes, and mosquitoes bite you, and then they bite the next person. And there's five stages in the life cycle, and that's why they do mosquito netting, and now they're going to roll out this vaccine and a whole bit. And, you know, as I presented yesterday, and I don't know that I want to go into the whole thing here, none of that's actually true. And in fact, when you go back to the 1880s and 1870s, when this was first being proposed, the, the people at the time, the doctors, the microbiologists, the toxicologists, the malaria people said, these aren't uh, parasites infecting your red blood cells. This is just what a red blood cell looks like when it's deteriorating. There's no, they've never seen these five stages this one becomes this one, becomes this one. They've never pulled out a parasite, isolated a parasite, and shown that it caused disease in any human or animal. And even you have these crazy things like, you know, Haiti and the Dominican Republic are on the same place, right? Same island. Haiti has a huge amount of malaria. The Dominican Republic has essentially no malaria. So what is it? The mosquitoes can't fly from one place to another? I mean, you keep going into these things and you realize that none of the explanations essentially in conventional medicine, conventional biology, are actually founded in truth and logic and something called science. Now, that led to a kind of hypothesis. And I, I would admit this is a, a a theory that I have, and I'd be interested to see if you guys agree with this. I came to the conclusion that you cannot um, create a healthy system, be it medical care, be it your body, be it a culture or a society or a relationship between two people that's not grounded in truth. Now, a lot of people try, you know, they have relationships that aren't grounded in truth, or they they say it doesn't matter whether there's a virus or not, we're going to treat you anyways. And I frankly just don't see it like that. I think if your foundation is inaccurate, right, if you think that malaria is this mosquito past pathogen, and that's it. And you ignore that poor people who are starving and poisoned get malaria and healthy people who aren't starving and well fed and aren't being poisoned up the wazoo, they don't get malaria, right? So it has nothing to do with who gets bit by a mosquito or not. You, you will never end up being able to treat somebody with malaria because you're, you're wrong from the get go.